the post-operative process with my dad has been a little frustrating. Initially, we were told that it would probably be five to seven days after a two or three stay, they stay in the ICU, and then, you know, maybe my dad would have to get a hotel for a few days and come and see the doc, and he'd be on his way. Um, you know, that turned into a seven-day sedated, ventilated stay for my dad in the ICU, and, and then uh, finally they moved us up to the surgical ICU for two days and then up to a regular room, and then last night uh, somebody dropped a, a bomb on us and said, well, you know, you're going to be here probably a minimum of seven days, and then we're going to have to send you to the uh, rehabilitation unit, and, and when you're there, uh, nobody can stay with you. You'll, you'll have to be by yourself and then we might need to have you stick around a little longer and see the surgeon and so you know last night came back to the hotel and just basically went to bed i was so frustrated uh, with that situation um, trying to take it in stride and then this morning we got good news but it was, it was kind of frustrating at the same time uh, at seven o'clock in the morning when i wasn't there um, and when no one would have been with my dad if, if Lynn hadn't been staying up there in the room um, the the doctor comes in and says, well, how would you like to go home Thursday? What? <laughs> you know, it just completely blows my mind. Um, but there's, there's two things that are holding me together in dealing with the doctors and, and, and not losing my cool. And, and, and I mean, I guess I'm not probably angry. I hope that, that that's not coming across because I certainly am not upset with the doctors. It's just the whole situation is so frustrating. And, and if you've been through this, you know what I mean. Uh, you met a lady in the hall last night that was crying her eyes out because her husband was going home, and it was it was just like, what am I going to do now? I, you know, how am I going to take care of him? And you know, we're so glad that he's leaving, but ah, and, and I and I can identify with that feeling. It's like, wow, what now? What next? But the, the things that are keeping me together are uh, number one, knowing that these doctors are operating with information that I don't possess. Um, you know, even if I could draw a sample of blood gases, I would have no idea what to do with the information that I got from it. And, and then second of all, knowing that these doctors genuinely care for my father. Um, they're, they're just a different group of people out here. Uh, we've all been to the doctor or, or had a teacher, you know, or something that you could tell was just kind of along for the ride and, and, and then it was a job for them, it was a living. Uh, these people really genuinely care about my dad and, and that's really a, a good thing to know. And so I'm, I'm drawn to Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Let me read that to you. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Um, similarly to the way that the doctors are dealing with my dad, I have to remember that, that God operates in my life in much the same way. Um, in fact, in a much greater sense, he operates in that way. You know, God knows everything, and He is wiser than me, and He has all the uh, all the data. <laughs> you know, not just bits and pieces like we do, or like a doctor does. He knows the the big picture. And second of all, you know, we're assured from the scriptures several times, uh, notably in Romans eight twenty eight and Jeremiah twenty nine eleven through thirteen. Um, that God has our best interest at heart and even though we may not interpret our current situation or circumstances as being something that's working out for our benefit, some way it is. So I guess dealing with these doctors has just reminded me um, of that aspect of my Christian life, my Christian walk. Uh, you know, God's got the big picture even when I don't. These doctors know what's going on and, and God knows what's going on for, for me and for you. And then, again, just a reminder, uh, as I referenced earlier in these logs, that uh, you know God is working all of this out for my good, and, and He cares for me, and working all this out for my dad's good, moreover. Uh, so that helps me today. <laughs>